every day. You wake up before you even brush your teeth. The first thing you do, you impregnate yourself. All that all right, niggas be doing. Y'all gotta cut that out. Yo, what up? It's your boy D Savage, and this is the first episode of First with Rap TV. All right, man, first question, let's see. What's the first song I ever made? The first song I ever made called 30 Round Clip, and that's what somewhat put me on the map. Second one, what we got? First rapper that I looked up to, oh no, easy, uh, 50 Cent. G you net, huh? I was born in Queens, New York, but I'm raised in Los Angeles. I came out to LA when I was two. I used to always go back out there every summer. Every time I used to be out there, man, I wanted a bulletproof vest, the wife beater tank top, do rag, all of that, man. Shout out to 50. First time I met Juice World, can never forget that. The first time I met Juice, I was living in New York in Brooklyn. Shout out to J News. One day J News got uh, Bibby and Juice was with Bibby, pulling up on him. Bibby brings Juice to the same building. J News ended up calling me upstairs like, yo, I got this kid downstairs. He really fucks with your music. They come upstairs. J News introduces me to him. The moment I met him, he just kept saying how much he fucks with me. He showed me his Instagram. He had some snippet on there that he ended up deleting where he wanted me to jump on it. I ended up doing, I gotta find that song and drop it. He came upstairs and probably for like 20, 30 minutes straight, he just kept playing me all of his music. The first song I heard, I knew. This kid was a baby, Michael Jackson. I can never forget that. I love you, Jared. I miss you so goddamn much. That was the first time I ever met Juice World. First snippet that went viral. Oh, duh. I know. That's what everybody knows me from. I was probably uh, like 15, bruh. And I'm sitting outside of the apartments that I was raised in in Gardena. And one of my friends, Declan, had just walked up on us with the camera already out. I was sitting there singing my own song. He saved it for some reason. We posted it on our regular social media accounts and that shit went viral. So ever since then, I've been a rapper. First time I ever performed at a strip club. I've never performed at a strip club. I ain't gonna lie to you. Y'all gonna think I'm, I'm lying right now. Yeah, I went to the strip club for the first time for real, for real last week. First altercation I got in at school. The altercation that, that occurred was I went to the bathroom right before class is over. When I come back, you feel me? You know, you remember like the small little pinky racers? Boy, them niggas put the N word on my shit. Like front to back, everywhere. Nigga, I was gone for like two minutes. My mom specifically packed, cause I don't eat that much. And she always be on my ass to eat. She specifically packed me a certain school lunch. Recess pop up. You know how you could like hang a, uh, your coat on like a knob? They had those for like backpacks back in elementary school. Everybody leave their backpacks there. Nigga, it's recess time, bro. I'm ready to eat. I'm hungry. I know my mama packed me a fire lunch. I'm on my way walking to the backpack and I see some of the kids that I felt like probably did that shit to my eraser. Boy, I see them niggas eating the same type of chips my mama got me. See another nigga eating this, the same type of sandwich my mama packed, you feel me? My dumb ass, I'm sitting there talking to him like, oh, them fire, huh? I know, my mama got me something, I'm finna fuck them shits up. Think about the time I get to my backpack, all that shit gone, boy. We ended up fighting, I fought two other niggas. They got suspended, I didn't. By the time everybody started to figure out what was going on, they was kind of like, damn, what the fuck? First live performance. Um, my first live performance, my show was, uh, it had 30 people there. This is like 30 round clip, had just dropped, and it's doing really good, and a lot of my rich friends liked my music. And for some reason, like one of their sisters or some shit like that was having like a sweet 16. And I made them give me like a thousand dollars. And I thought a thousand dollars was like a million when I was like 15, 16. So that's my first time ever like holding a microphone and having to perform the songs. It was the first lesson I learned in the rap game. The first lesson I learned in the rap game, the moment you have high expectations for the next man and they let you down, not only will it change the way you view that person, but it might change the way you view the business. People will be in your face and say they love you up and down, but they really have a lot of greed and hate and jealousy and you'll, you'll sense that and feel that. And as long as you're aware, you good. The first time I questioned if fame was worth it. I came in the game making decent money. It wasn't even like, I was dropping my first couple songs, waiting to eventually start like seeing the shit come in. I was blessed to the first song I had dropped, I started to see some good revenue just off that to where I realized I can fuck around and make a career off this shit. 
By the time I start getting some money rolling, I'm ready to change my life, but I still got my family stuck in the hood. Going back over there with some kind of fame or notoriety, you're a target. There's no way I could still be posted up how I want to be or used to be and expect no bad shit to happen. And that's strictly because of the fame. First time a fan got me tatted. Okay, uh, I released an album called D Phoenix and rest in peace, Jack Phoenix. It's my friend that passed away. And then those are his eyes with my 2700 tattoos, but a random fan online that I thought he was Cap, I had to fuck around and call him. He really tatted that shit right there. The, he got Jack's eyes, so. First time a fan got out of pocket. I had to show the way the fucking venue was set up. In order for me to get to the green room, I had to run in the audience. Like we run past everybody. I'm in the green room. I turn around, my girl runs in the green room, start looking for my belongings to leave the venue. And I just hear my girls like, what the fuck, what the fuck, screaming. So I turn around, it's a girl beating her way to get inside the green room, green room saying that uh, she's there with D Savage. And we, we really had to sit there and fight for like a good five minutes for her to just get out without doing too much, obviously. First piece of advice that I'd give, every day you wake up before you even brush your teeth, the first thing you do, you impregnate yourself, all that dick riding niggas be doing. Y'all gotta cut that out. That's out, stop all that dick riding. You gonna excel, you gonna get a lot further once you start focusing on yourself and stop all that dick riding, stop hating, man. Do what you wanna do. Stop listening to the next man, because I guarantee you they lying. You hear me? They, yeah, everything they talk about in they raps, tell them shut the fuck up. Huh? You ain't never did it. I did. Yeah, that's that's the, uh, the first piece of advice that I give. Uh, be yourself. Don't listen to nobody else. Yeah, y'all know what the fuck going on. It's D Savage. Yes, sir.